To power its ambitious carbon neutrality goal, China is betting on electric highways that can recharge vehicles while they're moving. In central China's Hunan province, a 1.8 kilometer stretch of E highway is being tested with heavy trucks. They're equipped with conductor rods or pantographs that attach to overhead cables for electricity. Put simply, the vehicles use fewer batteries and are mounted with pantographs to draw electricity directly from overhead lines, which improves the energy utilization rate by 7 to 10 percent compared to fully electric vehicles. The trucks can reach a speed of 80 to 100 kilometers per hour. When cargo volumes reach 10 million tons annually, the 700-kilometer e-highway for heavy trucks can help reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 1.3 million tons. Until then, there's a long way to go for large-scale e-highway applications, considering the high price of initial construction. The initial cost of pantograph-equipped vehicles is comparable to pure electric ones with a battery capacity of 280 kilowatt-hours. Based on our estimates, the project is feasible when highway cargo volume hits 5 or 6 million tons. Sweden and Germany are the global leaders in the development of electric highways. The world's very first electric road was inaugurated in Sweden in 2016.